What's up guys? It is December 18th, Monday before Christmas weekend and I'm looking across the street because the post office is right here. It is crazy busy. I'm guessing everyone's trying to get their packages sent out before Christmas and if you guys still do want like prime rib for your Christmas dinner and you're thinking of ordering on Tuesday, we might get it to you in time. I can't make any promises but if you place an order right when this video is posted, we will have the package sent out by Wednesday and hopefully it comes by Saturday, but <laughs> I mean, I guess there's no guarantees with the, you know, the holiday shipping and the increased volume, but we did get everything sent out uh, today and uh, Tuesday. Just a few quick reminders as usual, guys, there is an order minimum. So if you order less than $100, the order is going to be canceled. We just can't ship that much and the shipping cost is too expensive. You guys wouldn't pay it. And the West Coast minimum is $130. Uh, the pet food is fine. I like announced at the beginning of last week's vlog that, oh, the pet food's bad, email. It's not bad. A customer told me the pet food was bad. I asked him, does it smell rotten or spoiled or does it just smell like organs? Organs can kind of smell funky. He told me it was rotten. I asked my employee, I was, I was in California, guys. I wasn't here to check. I asked my employees, does the pet food smell rotten or does it smell like organs? And they said it was rotten. So I took their word for it and I just, I left it in the freezer and I was thinking, you know, it can't, it's not possible. So I checked the pet food myself. It's perfectly fine. Some people might not be used to the organ smell, but it's, it's as fresh as can be. It's, it's not even close to any, any sort of spoiling because that meat was slaughtered fresh. So the pet food is back on the website. Beef pet food, very affordable per pound for your pets. Uh, the disabled giveaway. We had some emails, not really that many. And I think there are 11 people that are eligible so far. So there's still over 20 slots open for the $33,000 giveaway. I've opened it up to all types of disabled people. So at first we just did it for blind people. I got like no emails. Then I did it for mentally disabled individuals. I got a few emails. Now we're gonna do all disabled people. Uh, just forward me a doctor's diagnosis, uh, social security letter, whatever it is. We're gonna try to do that. I was thinking of going to a children's hospital nearby, but like the hospital administration had their own charity line and going through the hospital administration like I, I was immediately so turned off when talking to those people. It was, look, I was hoping maybe I could go in there, ask the kids what they want, get them a gift, but they even they even closed the charity until next year. So it's kind of weird. That's, I guess that option was off the table, but hopefully we get enough emails and we can complete the giveaway just with my customers. There were a few rotten apples that emailed me <laughs> that, uh, that uh, very conveniently omitted the fact that they were never a customer of mine, but uh, uh, we can complain about that maybe later. So it's like 3.45 p.m. on Monday. My guy, we usually close at four. I had to drive to the Amish farm, so I kind of rushed to try to get here before we close, but I'm just gonna have to stay a little later anyway, finish this vlog and do a few things. Uh, so maybe Frankie Boy should have woke up a little earlier to uh, get things done in a reasonable time. And uh, uh, we're not doing the daily vlogs. We're just doing like, I'm just gonna be doing a quick vlog on Sunday or Monday until my eyes are kind of healed. Then we might get back to the daily vlogs and just show you guys a little bit of what's going on every day. But you know, Monday, Tuesday, usually same typical stuff. And then we get a few new things in every week. Yeah, so the pet food is fine. That's a big one. Uh, we have ice cream available now. I'll definitely show you guys. And I, I mean, I have so many reviews here to read, but I wanted to do them at the end of the vlog, so I, I, the thing is I can't bring the camera into the freezer and then really film more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the reviews now, I'll show you guys around and I'm going to put the review segment at the end of the video. So if you guys want to hear me read the reviews and goof around, that's going to be towards the end of the video. But timeline speaking, I'm doing it now in case I say things and some things don't make sense. Yeah, well, I've never seen this post office that busy. And it's Monday, so. You're sending your stuff Monday. The post, post office is not reliable, dude, especially during the holidays. The post office gets so backed up, like, especially if you guys are ordering on the foods and the other businesses, you might have to wait a little longer because they get so backed up during the holiday season because they have the cheapest option, everyone uses them, and they just don't get everything delivered in time. Yeah, it's kind of gloomy outside raining, so it's a little, uh, little dark in here. We don't turn the lights on, so I'm trying not to go Completely broke with the bill. Well, I'll go through here this time. I don't usually go this way through the office. My mess of an office. 
potato chip room over there. I don't know why someone said those box, like someone on TikTok said my boxes of potato chips were empty, that I was lying, bro. Like, that's completely ridiculous. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Uh, I got a few deliveries. I gotta check out, might have some exciting new products next week. Okay. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, have a good night, guys. I bought my guys some <laughs> bottled water so they don't make me broke drinking my Mountain Valley water. I think I showed you guys last week, for the most part, all the food stuff is in stock. Uh, I think we got a few new things like this, uh, this vanilla powder, which you guys see me use a lot, I like. We're gonna get some vanilla extract in too. Uh, we got the larger bottles of molasses and sugar so you guys can uh, sugar down there too that you guys are using to make the water kefir. Instant yeast, which is new for bread, but I've been eating rice. I've been eating rice because I don't have time to make the bread. I've been having rice every day feeling okay. But I'll show you guys the food stuff more next week. I think I showed you guys this last week too. We finally restocked uh, all the artichoke spread and all the other stuff like the fig jam. Uh, these are the Tunisian high quality artisanal organic products. Very, very special. So those are the artichoke spread and we got some whole artichokes left down there. Oh yeah, so the pe you guys are saying the pemmican's a little hard. Uh, I mean, you, you, can, you can soak this in water. Uh, I think the... I think the plain pemmican is hard too, so. Oh, you know what, no, the, the, plain, the plain pemmican isn't actually as hard, it's still a little soft, like you can press it, so. Uh, I think it might just be a little too much honey, but this is still like, it's not that soft. We're basically sold out of Best Bars, the chocolate, vanilla berry, but we do have them on pre-order if you guys wanna support me instead of the, uh, the clown shills copying me. We restocked the beef sticks. Uh, these are pretty popular. You guys are liking these a lot. Yeah, hopefully we have some time this week to make some stuff, but I don't know. Uh, we're kind of busy with all the orders. So this is all the dairy. We're basically going to send out the rest of it tomorrow. Uh, we got some beautiful fresh roast beef and fresh sliced turkey breast. Uh, we're going to send all of this out tomorrow too. I'm going to take some of this home with me. My pocket roast beef. All the dairy products are in stock, guys. Uh, that's heavy cream down there. This is sour cream. This is cream cheese. Some more heavy cream. That is cottage cheese, yogurt. We got everything, guys. We got everything. Uh, too much butter, though. Way too much butter. We're still giving away butter for free. There's more over here with, uh, with every order. Yeah, this is all that's left of the jardiniere. So we got one crate of jardiniere left. And there's some pickle juice. Oh, and then there's like half a crate of sauerkraut left. So that's pretty much it. Over here we also have the water kefir grains are available in eight ounces. Oh, I gotta take, uh, no, I have plenty of my house, but I, I eat these every day with every meal as like a supplement. But like once you have your own culture going, uh, you don't really need to buy them anymore. It keeps growing on its own with the sugar and molasses. We do have the orange flavored water kefir back available. Very delicious. I like this with breakfast, you know, because it's kind of like orange juice. Uh, orange kefir for breakfast, it, it's kind of nostalgic. Some plain kefir over there. Uh, we got pineapple. I don't know if I re I think I restocked it on the website, but we do have pineapple now. I think this is more, uh, that might be more plain keeper over here. Small amount of cookie dough left. This might all be sold, guys, uh, but we can make some more this week if I ever find the time. All the cheeses are back, guys. We got blue cheese, Emmentaler, Fiore Sardo, which is like a sheep's milk cheese, similar to pe uh, Pecorino. Fontina, Gouda, Asiago, Parmigiano, American Cheddar, Manchego, Guys, go on the website, check out all the food, uh, all the cheeses, and then we have the more affordable A2 cheeses from the farmer. So from the Amish farm, we have cheddar, Gouda, Colby, and mozzarella. Those are more affordable. And then we have a little too many eggs. All, all of these eggs came in fresh this week, but if you guys can please place an egg order just to kind of keep them moving. The new egg uh, styrofoam cartons that I found, the eggs are coming in those 
this week, but you guys might not see them until we sell those eggs. So that's why we're trying to get through them. Uh, but the eggs are now a little cheaper. Uh, on the foods website in particular, um, I did a slight price reduction, but we can't really go much cheaper. Otherwise I'm breaking even, which is not great. So now we'll go in the freezer. Yeah, these are all the orders that we're sending out uh, tomorrow because the ice delivery comes on Tuesday now. Yeah, my guys did uh, a lot of orders this week. I'm trying to get over here and see if there's anything to show you guys. Uh, beef tri-tip is back in stock. We ran out of this. That's just some of our beef tri -tip. This is uh, picanha, whole picanha. This is the cheap ground beef. 8515 organic, 750 a pound. Oh, we got the the whole beef belly slabs. The five pound beef belly slabs are back. And we also have just uh, one pound beef belly as well over here. That's the one pound beef belly portions. These are the beef belly slabs. And then we have the sliced beef bacon available as well. We got a lot of a lot of orders this week. Yeah, we restocked the best burger blend again. You guys bought all of it. My guys moved the uh, the soups and stocks around, but you guys can see all of these uh, in the freshly roast meat section on the website. A lot of collagen broth. This is the chicken broth. We got some porterhouse steaks back in stock. These look really good. Bone and ribeyes are back available too. We were out of these for a little bit. Some more bone and ribeyes here. The uh, rabbit kidneys and rabbit livers are back in stock. Uh, these have always been popular with some of you guys. We also restocked the caviar here. We have the American sturgeon caviar and the salmon caviar. These are all of the uh, buy one get one free turkey orders. Uh, I think you guys saw that in my short on the weekend. If you buy one turkey, you get one of the same weight for free, which is absolutely crazy. I might as well register as a nonprofit. What's even crazier is I was supposed to get the pork roast and bring those down. And we also have like a staircase thing we can use to get those. So I told my guys to move stuff and get them. My guy freaking climbs up there like a monkey. I'm fucking, I'm in here fucking screaming at him not to do that. I'm like, it's fucking dangerous. Fucking get down. He doesn't fucking listen to me. He's up there, and my other guy's down here, and he's th throwing the fucking turkeys down to him. I was about to have a stroke. I just, I just left the freezer, and then we had a safety meeting the next day. I can't, I, can't. I, I treat my guys really well, and, and they like me a lot, so that they'll, they'll kind of do whatever, but, um, Sometimes I gotta like, I gotta get things a little serious. But we have, uh, we have turkeys. Oh, what's definitely new and exciting is ice cream. I think we sold almost all of the vanilla ice cream right here. And then we have uh, a decent amount of chocolate still. That's the chocolate, but like all this is chocolate. But most of the vanilla is gone. That's just some beef liver. Uh, we got more canoe bones in stock. These are great. Most affordable price online. Plenty of uh, the marrow butter too, bone marrow butter if you just want pure bone marrow. Over here we restock two things mainly. Uh, the single bone and short ribs, which are, which are nice small portions. We have a lot of those. And then we also restocked, uh, well this is eye round roast. I think these are the prime rib roast. Yeah, we got some more prime rib roast back for you guys for, for the holidays. We ran out, but we restocked a lot of the, the four and five pound prime rib roast for this weekend. I think that's all, way too much chicken. This is what's left of the pork share. Uh, this is what's left. We only have this much ground pork, this much ham, and one lone pork chop. Uh, so we're gonna have some more pork. It looks like what we're gonna do is 
Uh, maybe a few shares will have ground pork and ham and then we'll just have the ham left. This is uh, all the milk you guys didn't buy last week. I can't complain too much because you guys did buy the milk this week. But, uh... My guys have my liverwurst over here for some reason. Beef liverwurst. If you guys didn't see this on the website, it's basically just uh, beef and fat pureed together. Very delicious, very high quality, very plain. This is the seafood I haven't spoken about in a while. We're kind of almost out of it, the salmon, the cod, and the halibut. But yeah, so when the IRS wonders why my business isn't profitable, it's <laughs> part of the reason is this. Yeah, upside of running a business that's hemorrhaging money is you don't have to pay taxes. Downside is you don't make any money. <laughs> Going crazy. I think I've showed you guys everything in the freezer for this week, and if not, uh, that's fine because I am cold. Oh wait, no, there's one more thing I must show you. Uh, we got uh, the pork sausages back. Uh, so new recipe, I might try out this in a video for you guys. These are the plain Iberico pork sausages. And these are the Iberico pork breakfast sausages. So really, really special product, guys. Um, these are the these are the lean sausages that I've been eating myself, but these these are much more expensive. These are like almost thirty five a pound because it's it's such high quality expensive meat. Whereas uh, these are about twenty dollars a pound, which for Iberico pork is still cheap. So we have the Iberico sausages, we have Iberico bacon, and we also have Iberico ground pork back that isn't as ridiculously fatty as before, which I'm happy about. These are delicious, I love these. Um, maybe I'll have, yeah, let me take, I'll take one of these home for dinner. What I like doing with this is I sear it on both sides and then I slice it thin and I put it in my udon noodles. You guys are ordering plenty of ice cream. All right, if my camera doesn't fog up, we'll talk a little bit more. I'll try to be surprised if it doesn't fog up. Okay, so I mentioned it earlier, but if you have any physically, mentally blind, disabled friends, family, neighbors, relatives, please send us an email. If you're, a, they don't have to be a customer, but you have to be a customer and know them. Um, and then we're st we still have a lot of slots for the giveaway. A uh, few few exciting things to look forward to are my I mean my vision's blurry anyways, but I can still tell the camera's a little foggy yet, yeah, but. I did have a few more things. We're gonna have duck meat, hopefully, in January. So I won't talk too much on that. It's still about a month away. And we're gonna have the, the pork share back soon. Hopefully we can fatten up the pigs a little more. And and more importantly, restock some things that, uh, restock some things that, uh, that you guys have been missing. And of course, I'm always coming out with new stuff every week, guys. It's always something new. I'm crazy. I'm not gonna have enough space on the website to list everything. <laughs> we did ice cream last week. These Amish are, these Amish, dude, Oh my god, I don't want to know how much money these Amish are making, it's crazy. They have no cost, dude. <laughs> I know I should stop talking because it's blurry, but these, dude, they have no cost. The Amish don't pay taxes, the animals are on grass, they're milking them, I'm paying for all the materials, like, they're making pure profit, it's crazy, but whatever. I'll stop complaining because, uh, it's freaking 4.18, I went home an hour ago to, like, choke down a half of a breakfast <laughs> before I came here, so... I got a few more things I got to do down here. Uh, I'm just going to work for a little bit, go home, relax. I got to catch up on a lot of online stuff and emails. But you guys are going to see. Uh, you're going to see me uh, read some reviews. And, uh, and that should be it for this week's vlog. And hopefully I'm a little more organized next week. As in, I don't forget to bring my camera down here on Sunday. And I don't have to drive over to the Amish to make an emergency container delivery. Also, I bought, I found them another, some dairy equipment on... They owe me a lot. Let's just leave it at that. So we got a five-star review for the pemmican. Finally, a source of protein you can rely on. This product is great for people looking to try sustainable and nourishing food that has been around for a long time. Modern food can't compete with a nutrient-rich bar pemmican. Uh, some of you guys were complaining that the new pemmican is too hard. I checked it. It's pretty hard. They used to soak pemmican in water before they ate it, but I'm, I'm going to try to figure out the recipe. Um, if you like crumbled off pieces of it, it was kind of okay. It was still really hard. 
I, I'm going to look into a solution for that because I think even the plain pemmican had a. I don't think the plain pemmican was as hard, but I'm, I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to try to figure it out. We have a five star view for the 5G EMF protection t shirt. Great and trusted since many years ago. I have about five of these shirts and shorts by now. I wear them at every single moment of the day except showering. They're so easy to wash, it's 15 minutes in the machine and it dries fast for me. The material is gentle so it can have the silver string come out, but it's a little thin compared to the benefit of EMF shielding to your body and it does not make you feel sweaty or anything. All of you that buy from Frank must buy the t-shirts and shorts the very first thing. Thank you for your amazing products always. Yeah, having the t-shirt, the underwear, and like head cover or hat is a real minimal investment cost to, to just feeling so much better. The EMF reduction is a huge component of health. So we have a five star view for the beef butter. Oh, let me, um, so the pemmican was on frankiesyringefoods.com. The EMF clothing is on wifishealing.com. And this next review is for the beef butter, beef towel moisturizing cream. That's on frankiesnaturals.com. The best of the best. I've been rubbing Frankie's ball grease on my face and body regularly for years. As a heterosexual male, all other moisturizing products fail in comparison. You guys, uh, maybe I should start some uh, some type of adult product company. You guys are ridiculous. Maybe we have a more reasonable review for the beef butter, beef towel moisturizing cream, another five star. I like it. I've only just tried it, but I already like how it feels on my skin. It makes my skin feel softer. I can't wait to see what results will be like with you long term use. Okay, so that's an example of an acceptable review uh, to the first customer. Uh, back to the meat business. Five star review for the grass fed beef and bone broth, which is restocked. We did make more last week. Beef stew, basic and delicious. This is a very basic, unadulterated recipe. There's no way anyone could not like it. The quality of the ingredients Frank has sourced is obviously high. My only qualm is that it is very expensive, and that is the only reason I won't be personally. I mean, dude, it's 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 the only product available online and that price for that quality product you couldn't make it yourself if you if you bought all the ingredients to make that the bones and the meat it would probably cost you more than buying it from me it's it's the collagen broth that we sell for like ten dollars a jar which is usually fifteen dollars a jar in the supermarket they sell that same bone broth for fifteen dollars a jar and it's not even gelatinous so I'm selling gelatin bone broth for ten dollars a jar already cheaper than the store and it's way, way, way higher quality, and I add beef to it. So price-wise, if you guys ever complain about the prices on my website, it, like, it's completely ridiculous because we have the lowest prices online. It's, it's, not, it's not a legitimate, it's not a le legitimate complaint. Stew meat for beef barley stew. This soup has become my staple, and these are a perfect portion and a great price. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad you guys like the, the smaller stew meat portions. We do have the beef barley stew back, but I think you guys have almost bought it all already. Five star review for the raw cow's milk American cheddar cheese. Get the shredder. I haven't shredded cheese since I was a kid. Wow, this tastes amazing. Thank you. We did restock all of the cheeses last week when uh, we got some raclette in, which we haven't had in a while. So if you guys like the cheese, a little expensive now. I'm trying to find a better supplier, but the prices have been going up and up and up. Then on organsupplements.com, we have a review for the female fertility. Really works. Bought for my girlfriend and she says people are taking notice of her improved energy. She also has experienced less cramping on her period. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, girls can fall a lot more into the conventional wisdom normie stuff. Uh, like with the birth control and everything. And, and usually men are the people that like kind of go outside the box and try to figure stuff out with their health and diet and experiment more. Um, so it, it can be kind of hard to get girl. Like I have, I have so many more guys buying my male virility supplement probably like it's not even comparable. Like I have so many people buying the male virility beef testicle testosterone booster, whereas the amount of females I have buying my estrogen supplements, it's 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 not comparable. Like it's 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 very strange, but maybe they're listening to their doctors who are destroying their health. Another five star view for the five G EMF protection clothing. This time the underwear. Oh, this is the same review. Hold on. He left a review for the t shirt and underwear actually. And we have a five star review for the Vichy Soi organic potato leek soup. So creamy and smooth, it exceeded my expectations. Taste was phenomenal and the texture was so smooth, it was unbelievable. I would recommend it to everyone. We ran out, I don't know if we're gonna make it again, if we have time. I don't know when we're gonna have time to make it. We're, just, we're kind of backed up right now with orders and, and meat and stuff. And we also, we like ran out of meat granola, we ran out of like cookie bars. We have stuff 
priority over the Vichy Swat that we don't have time to do now, so I don't know. Another five-star review for the beef barley stew. Can't get enough. Slammed back three jars at once. Couldn't stop eating it. The flavor is on point and the nutrition profile is perfect. Just order it. You'll thank me later, bro. That's a lot. That's three pounds of three pounds of this stew. I have to I have to try this batch. It's probably really really good. We critiqued the recipe a little bit and uh, everything should be on point. Five star beef for the grass fed ground beef. Amazing as always. The best ground beef I've ever had hands down. Frank has not only the highest quality products but the most unique as well. All of his bars, his prepared foods are 10 out of 10. Tastes amazing and nothing comes close. Yeah, so right now we have the fresh local ground beef, which is like, it's $12 for a 1.2 pound package. And then we also have a more affordable 8515 organic, which is only $7.50 a pound. Plus the discount you guys are paying, it's so cheap. It's, I might be breaking even on it, but got it. I got a deal price from the distributor. Hopefully I'm not losing money. Then we got a five star view for the organic quinoa crisp. We're sold out of this. Uh, actually, dangerously delicious. No joke, ate 10 of these in one sitting. They're so delicious. What, is, what are you guys, freaking Brendan Fraser in that movie? Dude, that's the funniest scene. He like, he gets up out of the chair. Uh, I, I laugh so hard every time I see that scene, dude. <laughs> but dude, how do you eat 10 of those quinoa crisp bars? They're so dense. The flavor is something I've never tasted before. It's so unique. I think everyone should at least try one. Once you try it, you'll never go back. I, I take a lot of pride in the in the health and nutrition bars I've made and the cookie bars because there's nothing else really like them on the market. It's also why we were plagiarized and copied on the best bar, which is a whole other headache that I'm not getting into today. Five-star review for chocolate chip granola bar. We're sold out of these two. I don't know why I'm reading these reviews. You'll never go back. Frank does it again. This bar blasted my expectations out of the water. As soon as I took a bite, I couldn't stop. I had to finish the whole thing. The texture and flavor is legit 10 out of 10. You will not regret ordering this bar yet. If something special happens when you combine genuinely high quality ingredients. So no one else is really doing that. Five star view for organic sourdough starter. Perfect. Already made three loaves with this starter. We'll continue to use it for months to come. So easy to feed and maintain. Made the best tasting sourdough I've ever had. We still have the only organic sourdough made with glass bottle mineral water packaged in glass online. So it's the only high quality sourdough starter that you should be buying, but then you'll never have to buy one again. So I guess maybe that's why I'm not selling too many. Five star view for the organic Jardiniera lacto fermented. Have not had anything like it. The best fermented product I've had other than the pickle juices in. Uh, speaking of which, the pickles should be ready this week. We should have our pickles back in stock this week. We still have a very small amount of the sauerkraut and jardiniere left, uh, but you guys bought the pickles really fast, so we're gonna make those first. Maybe we'll make the jardiniere again. I'm not really sure. Again, that's another thing we have to find time to do. Uh, but that, no, that was a very, very special product. I, I picked out all the organic ingredients myself. I made it myself. It's very, very special, high quality product. I'm sure no one's ever made anything even close to that. Five star review for the pasture raised duck eggs. Love my duck eggs. The duck eggs are amazing. We'll purchase over and over. Thank you for making available online. Uh, we should also have the actual duck meat soon, which I'll talk about later. Oh, we have stuff to show you guys. Oh wait, no, I keep saying this stuff, but you guys are gonna see, I keep saying I'm gonna show you guys this stuff, but the reviews I'm actually putting after we take you guys around, so. Scratch that, you saw it already. You saw the duck meat already. Five star view for the product organic artichokes. This adds a great flavor to Frankie's bean dip. Sometimes the olive oil can leak out without the jar break. All right, well, uh, we have the, those are wrapped in plastic and there shouldn't be an issue. Um, but if you do have an issue with any order or anything leaking, uh, just send us an email, we can issue a refund. But those artichokes are very special. I was happy to have found them from, uh, what's the country called? Tunisia, Tunisia they're from. Another five star view for the beef barley stew organic grass fed. <laughs> I don't even want to read this one. Yummy in my tummy, so good it's dummy. You guys are a little silly. Five star view for the grass fed chuck steak. Unexpectedly good. So I bought about 24 one pound chuck steaks and for the price I thought it was gonna get some old gray backstock of meat, but instead the meat is incredibly fresh. I can't even begin to describe how happy I am with my first order. Thanks for yeah, now you guys know why I like the only thing I've gotten for myself in the four years of uh, my, running my business is getting my eyes gouged out because I can't afford to do anything else. Oh, this was funny. 
Someone emailed me complaining, the bacon is greasy. First of all, our bacon is actually more protein and less fat than most other bacons. And dude, we have some chicken breast, dude. We have chicken. You want some chicken breast in your next order? I'll send you some chicken breast for free. But if you send me an email complaining that the bacon is greasy. Oh, he did, he did buy chicken breast <laughs> on the order. <laughs> He actually did. Bro, bro, it's bacon. I, like, I can't issue a refund if you complain to me the bacon is greasy. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, I'm gonna have a stroke. Please, guys, please. I don't know where I'm finding these people, bro. Bacon is, like, it's so, like, bacon is freaking half over half fat. It's, I can't, I can't, dude. So that's gonna be it for the vlog this week, guys. If you're seeing this, you want to place an order, just do it immediately on the meat website. We're going to send everything out and try to get it to you before the Christmas weekend if you want something like Prime Rib Holiday Roast. Uh, but as always, thank you guys so much for the continued support. And uh, you guys can see I'm really working hard. I'm basically killing myself every day, trying to do new products every week uh, to get you guys really, really high quality stuff and to keep it affordable. So, you know, with the continued support, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do even, I promise you guys, I'm gonna do better. Like we're selling Iberico pork now, it's so expensive. Hopefully we can really uh, get our own pork supply in the near future and get you guys really affordable, just as high quality pork. Same with the chicken. Uh, st still a lot of things I haven't done yet that I'd like to do. I don't know if I'm gonna make it there. I might have to, I might have to take a permanent vacation to Italy because I, I, I think I've lost any brain cells I have left so far, but um, uh, we'll keep we'll keep it going a little longer guys we'll keep it going a little longer uh, but no there's a lot of exciting stuff that I'm looking forward to doing and uh, and as I've said already really high quality special tasty delicious products that are healthy for you and also making it accessible to most people um, yeah I'll stop rambling I don't want this video to be too long I'll see you guys next week we're probably going to be posting a lot of shorts I had someone edit for me on the on the channel so there's going to be a lot of that stuff, maybe a day of eating. See you guys soon.